everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these super cute and super fast worry worms. So I first noticed these worry worms popping up in the Random Acts of Crochet Kindness Facebook group. People have been making these little worms and leaving them out for people to find. Now I love doing the Random Acts of Crochet Kindness and when Laurelyn from Snuffle Bean Yarn found a worry worm herself out in the wild, I got totally inspired to make some just off the back of how she reacted to finding them. It was adorable. So these little worms are great for that, but of course you can use these little chaps for anything that you fancy. Special thanks go to Sam Cloud for allowing me to film her worry worm pattern, which is what I'm going to be showing you today. And also a special nod to the Random Acts of Crochet Kindness Facebook group and Susan Makin, who makes these little tags that you can download and include in your packets. All right, let's leap straight into how you crochet these adorable little guys. So with your chosen yarn and your corresponding hook size, pop a slip knot onto your hook. Then we are going to chain 30. Once you have your 30 chains, we're going to skip this very first chain. Remember this loop on your hook does not count as anything. Skip this very first chain and pop a slip stitch into the second chain. Then into the next chain, we're going to place four single crochet stitches all into that exact same chain. One, two, three, four. Now repeat that into the very next chain, four single crochet stitches all into that very same space. One, two, three, and four. Now you'll notice your work is already starting to curl around. That is exactly what you want. So what we're going to do in the remaining chains is pop four single crochet into each one, but stop before that very last chain. So four single crochet in all these chains except this very last one. So that's my last set of four single crochet in the chains and I've got one chain remaining. Now you should have a nice sort of curly cue formed at the bottom. If yours hasn't curled, you can give it a bit of a twist or wrap it around your finger. And then we're going to form the head of these little worry worms. So into this very last chain, we are going to work 10 double crochet stitches. 
all into that exact same chain. Once you have your 10 double crochet, we're going to slip stitch into that chain as well. Don't worry if it stretches the hole a little bit. That works quite well as a worried looking mouth. Then chain one, snip your yarn, leaving an end to weave in. Pull that through, pull it tight and weave in your two ends. Once your ends are woven in, you can snip those tails off. Now for the eyes, I like to use self-adhesive googly eyes. You can of course use whatever you want, French knots or little felt circles, or you could just embroider some on with yarn. But I like using these tiny little googly eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach these to the face of the worm. And your little worry worm is complete. Now you can do what you want with your worry worm, but obviously I like to leave mine as random acts of crochet kindness. I'm going to pop in a clip of a couple that I left out for people to find yesterday. And if you'd like more information on the movement of random acts of crochet kindness, I have popped links in the description box down below. And I've also linked to the video about Olivia who started the entire movement so i hope you go on to make happy little worry worms of your own if you participate in the random acts of crochet kindness that would be amazing because it really does make a difference to the people that find them and until next time happy crocheting <laughs>